Hello everyone, happy Friday night. Flower is here with me. But other than the pets, I'm home alone. Oh, Flower, what was I thinking? It's Friday night and Kyle and the kids went to Disneyland tonight with my brother. He also has a season pass and they all wanted to go and I chose not to go, which this morning I started regretting the decision. Um, you book tickets in advance, like you have to, what does Kyle call it, reserve, book a reservation for the day. You can't really just show up and go in. Anyway, so I didn't have a reservation for today and this morning I started regretting it because <laughs> I have fear of missing out and wanting to be with everyone and have fun. But we were, we're already going multiple days this weekend, so I wanted to save my energy, not use it all. And things in life are so fast paced, fast paced, that I just needed to stop and breathe, flower. I needed to stop and breathe and do some self care for tonight. And then I will see the kids in the morning and we will have fun. So even though I was regretting not going earlier today, I'm okay with it now because I needed the slow paced evening that I'm having. I just got out of the shower, nice cozy shower. That's when my face looks pretty red. It causes the rash to get darker in color. It's actually doing a lot better, believe it or not. Worse in ways, like it's going higher on my cheeks now. But better as in it's not covered in a million whiteheads anymore. So I'll take it. <laughs> Treatment is drying out my skin so much. So I need to get more moisturizer for all over my body because um, I go through so much now. And then it looks like I'm, or it feels like I'm getting another sty here. But it doesn't, it's not showing too much. It's just hurts really bad like a sty is coming. And my nails are very brittle from treatment and normally I let them get a little bit long and then cut them but I haven't been able to get them very long with this treatment. This one's naked from the pull socks. But um, so I'm gonna cut them all short because they're breaking and then paint them a fun color, paint all of them and hopefully this, color, this new color doesn't act weird with my reading my oxygen and heart rate because then I'll have to make another naked nail. So we'll see. <laughs> Hopefully this next color is an okay one. It's weird how some colors react differently with doing the pull socks. Um, I read about that online and I didn't think it was true, but I'm seeing for myself that it is true. So we'll, we'll check this next color and see. And then I'm just gonna do some other to-do list stuff. Um, I want to fill out our calendar with appointments for the month of March. Ooh, I'm a little nervous about some of those. And then I want to get started on Winnie's artwork that I want to do for her room. Start brainstorming, game planning what it's going to look like. If you're interested, feel free to come join me for a night alone at home. My nails are bare. I was about to do the color, but then I remembered I have to do my clinical trial medication. You have to take it within a certain window. You're not allowed to touch it. That's why I have my gloves. Kyle does it. He usually gives me my medicine with one glove. He's fancier than I am or more skilled, but I wanted to do two because it makes me feel like I'm a doctor or something cool, maybe a dentist. And <laughs> what screams girls night in more than taking a break for cancer treatment medication? I mean, I don't know what else does. So let's get that. Okay. So the gloves are because I'm not supposed to touch it. I didn't even touch the pills with my gloves but I have the gloves just in case like a pill goes rolling or something then I can catch it but we have to be very safe and careful with them 
probably because of the ingredients. Cheers. Let me know what you're drinking tonight. For me, it's water. Before and after. I was trying to write on our dry erase calendar that we keep on the fridge, but Kira is interrupting that. She just knocked my journal, my planner, and my diary for the clinical trial on the floor. Thank you, Kira. And she's erasing the dry erase with her feet. So I'm just gonna wait and talk with you guys. I finished my nails, they're cute. They're like a periwinkle, love periwinkle. And they kind of go with my pajamas. These are my cute jammies from my Auntie Kathy. I love them so much. My face has mellowed out a little since I last filmed. Whew. I am just spending the evening thinking and I'm doing this calendar so I'm seeing appointments coming up. Next week I have a brain MRI to check on the new lesions in my brain. The following week is a CT scan to check on the cancer in my chest. And basically these scans I don't know if the brain MRI is part of it, but the CT scan is determining whether or not this clinical trial is working. And I hope and pray that it is. I don't know how it works with the brain having new lesions, if that means it's not working. It doesn't seem like that's the case. I don't know if you guys are familiar with chemo, but your brain has, I'm so gonna butcher this because I am not educated on the matter. I just heard it through cancer treatment that there's like a, um, your brain has a safety measure where it blocks chemo from going into your brain. A little bit goes in there, but typically it doesn't go past the barrier. And so that's why there's brain radiation for brain treatment. And so I'm wondering if that's the same with my clinical trial. It can't go up there maybe, so that's why there's the new lesions. I don't know. We'll find out <laughs> as we go. But I know the chest scans will be telling us if it's working or not. And I hope and pray that it is because though I still struggle, I still can't do what I used to, I feel, you know, I'm definitely a stage four cancer patient and I'm definitely going through treatment. Though I still have struggles, this is way better quality of life, this form of treatment, way better than chemo. So I'm hoping that this treatment is working so I can stay on it. I don't know, we'll see. And if it's not, I trust my team that we'll have another plan. And if I have to get chemo next, then you guys know I will be in that chemo chair getting it. I will do it no matter what, so. Either way, I'll be okay, I hope. <laughs> Today when I did Ellis's school pickup, it seems on Fridays everyone is there. Like it, there's double the amount of cars uh, as the other days of the week. I'm not sure why there's so many on Fridays. If you guys have any insight to that, let me know. Kyle said maybe divorced families have both parents go to pick up on Friday to like pass off information or I don't know, we don't know. But there were so many cars and I have a disability placard in my van to where I could park in a handicap spot, but there are only two or three spots in our school parking lot because the school parking lot is so small and it has barely any spots for anyone. So those are always filled, I'm assuming by staff. And then there's a loading handicap parking spot where you're just supposed to do a quick pickup or drop off and I don't use that because I feel that it's for I've seen it used for students who are in wheelchairs and I don't want to be in the way of them having their spot so I'm not going to use that spot and then so what I what I normally do for school pickup is I go to his school 
about 45 minutes early, I go into this other pickup zone that's just for quick pickups, and I park there, wait in my car till I go get him, and then we leave. A lot of people do that, and they have the disability placard in their car, so I'm thinking people who are in similar situations to me, we have to find the next best thing, and it's this loading zone, which we're allowed to park in, and um that was all full so i had to park up the street in the neighborhood pretty deep in and so i was really nervous that i would be in a lot of pain and i wasn't in a lot of pain so that's good grateful for that but on the way back to the car after getting ellis i knew i was going to need a break because it's uphill and i struggle with uphill and breathing and i have this whole cancer journey and so I knew I was gonna need to take breaks going back to the car, but A, it's embarrassing for me. B, I worry it's gonna embarrass him. C, it's inconvenient to have to take breaks just walking to the car. So I was clever and my kids and I love nature. We love collecting treasures from nature. So I used that in my favor and we stopped to look at nature a couple of times, a few times. And this is one of our little treasures we got. Super cute. And the kids genuinely, the kids genuinely enjoy stopping to look at these treasures and pick things to bring home. This was our first pick. Then the kids found these. They call them clammies. I don't know what they are. They fall out of the trees. Ellis got enough for all of us. I don't know where Kyle's is, but they call them clammies. And the kids were having fun with these. They like to make them do this noise. I don't know how they do it. And then the last stop was to get these things. I don't know what they are. <laughs> Oops. Oops, where did they go? Oh, well, I lost one of them. These things, I don't know what they are, but The kids were excited to find them. These ones Ellis was excited for when he was excited for the other two things. Ellis was excited for all of it. He's my nature boy. Ah, but I was proud of myself for coming up with a creative way to take breaks that didn't make me feel embarrassed or worried about him being embarrassed or self-conscious that I struggle with walking. I was really proud of myself. <laughs> And I will have to use that trick more often. It's like that stop and smell the roses saying. That's basically what we were doing. <laughs> Today was the last day of Spirit Week for Reading Across America at Ellis's school. And it was the spirit day was to dress up as a book character. So I let Ellis pick any character he wanted to dress up as. I told him we could make the costume come up with something and he chose Pete the Cat, which I was so glad he chose because A, I love Pete the Cat. B, what's with this A and B thing I'm doing tonight? <laughs> B, it was so easy to make a costume. He already had a blue outfit and red shoes because there's a book about Pete loving his red shoes. Um, but all I did was buy a blue beanie and some felt, glued it on, and he looked like Pete the Cat, he was super cute. And he loved it, I was very proud of him for wanting to dress up. Sometimes he's too shy or just doesn't wanna be a part of it. And today he wanted to and it was, it was really fun. He looked so cute. I decided to come sit on the couch and get cozy with my heating pad and my beautiful quilt that was made by a subscriber. I seriously love it so much. The fabric that was used to make this has stuff on it like Seek Joy, Brave Girl, Heart to Heart, I Choose Hope, Little Positive Believe, Little Positive Affirmations or Words of Encouragement, May You Choose Light, Live in It, Surround Yourself with It, Be It, and I read these little things all the time off of it. It makes me feel so loved and supported and like I'm a brave girl. So 
Thank you so much. I love it so much. It makes me feel so special. And it's so cozy. I have Grogu here with me. And Flower, who is too low to get in the shot and I'm not gonna lift her. I wanted to stay up late enough to see if them, Kyle and the kids get home from Disneyland, but I think I'm gonna go to bed early because being a cancer warrior, I have to get some extra rest to keep up with my healthy family on their fun weekends. Mm -hmm. So I wanna be able to keep up this weekend, so I think I'm gonna go to bed early. I am feeling better mentally from, you know, I've been down since my friend passed. I'm still down, but I'm a little bit better. And I'm focusing on self-care tonight, so I think that's helping. This is, this is just a hard journey to be on. This cancer journey is very hard. And do you know it's hard, Flower? Is that what you're saying? You're trying to give me a hug? Oh, thank you. But I'm doing okay. I will hopefully be starting therapy soon, so hopefully that will help. Uh, I think we kind of messed up my medication again. You know how I ran out of pain meds on the weekend a few weeks ago? We didn't do that, like I'm not out, but we ordered a refill because I'm getting low. It's the as needed medication and I'm able to take it up to however many times a day, every four hours. The most I ever take is four. I usually take one to two on a normal day and on a day where we do Disneyland or a lot of physical stuff, I will take three to four as needed, <laughs> but it's not like a set amount each day. So I don't know how that all works, but we called for the refill. My team gave me the refill and the insurance said, the pharmacy told us that the insurance will, will not approve it, that I can only ask for refill so many times each month and I haven't asked for a refill yet this month. It's just now March, but I guess it hasn't been long enough in between the two refills. It only, I only get 30 pills at a time. And so I don't know how that works if we did something wrong, but we're, we're gonna figure that out because I don't, like I'll be fine if I run out of pain meds this weekend. I'll be okay because I still have my daily pain meds that have like me at a better, baseline but I don't know I don't know this world of pain meds I think we need it prescribed differently I think is the issue because um, what am I supposed to do if I run out you know <laughs> I don't know I am going to call a hair salon and try to get this fixed my best friend sent me a picture of a cute haircut that's really short that I'm gonna take, I'll take the picture in with me and ask if they can try to make something of these weird layers and we will see. It will be very short and hopefully cute. I'm, my hair is just thinning so much with treatment right now that I think we're in the direction of losing a lot more hair and so it's probably only gonna get more weird. So I think we need to cut it shorter, try to distract from the weirdness. And um, <laughs> look at that, so weird. It's like this thick, thick amount up here and then really thin at the ends. It's very weird. But I will update you guys with that haircut. We'll see how it goes. I'm glad Kyle and the kids are having fun at Disneyland. I'm so grateful that we found this way to enjoy ourselves, make memories with the kids while we're all here together and distract our minds from cancer because cancer is not going to take our fun away from us. We're gonna have fun as much as we can while we're all here together. So, and even after, if we're not all here together, we're still gonna try to make the best of life always because Life is a gift. It is truly a blessing to live each day 
and I think it's very important to always choose joy, happiness, and live life the best you can. Maybe I'll post something on Instagram before bed. I got a cute video of Kyle when he got home from work. We did a surprise, fun surprise for him, similar to something my sister and I did when we were kids. So I'll put that on Instagram. I'll probably edit this and then I will go to bed. I will film more this week because I am getting a brain MRI and it's gonna be my first one under sedation, I think is what they call it. And I'm nervous for that, but I'm hopeful that it will go smoother than the normal brain MRIs where I'm laying there in pain the whole time, struggling to get through it. Oh, I'm supposed to be working on Winnie's art for her room. I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'll start brainstorming. It's gonna be, it's a small world theme and I want to like take different parts of each section of the ride. Not each section, but just some of her favorite parts and then just tie them all in together. So maybe I'll start writing down what stuff I wanna tie in, what colors, what supplies, all that stuff. So maybe I'll do easy brainstorming stuff in bed Every night lately, I've been having to sleep upright for at least one or two times in the night until I wake up from limbs going numb because it's cutting off circulation. I don't know what this is. I don't know if it's more fluid in my lung, if it's just pain, my pain from cancer. I don't know what it is, but I struggle with pain in the night I take my medication, but I always have my, you know, big pile of pillows on my lap in bed. And then I go to sleep like that, just sitting up. And it works, it's okay, it's not bad. I would be fine with it if I didn't wake up with my legs asleep in the night, but it's very weird. It makes me wonder if, if something's going on in there. Maybe it hurts because the cancer is dying and so that's why there's extra pain. Is that a thing? I don't know. Kyle's always hoped that's a thing. Whenever I have pain, he always hopes it's the cancer dying. I had fun with Winnie today. We built train sets, which are still out. I was determined to keep it set up because it was so cool. We built the coolest train set and I tripped over it like three times tonight so it is destroyed. So not a good idea to leave a train track out in the middle of the living room. And then we watched a movie together, did lunch together, breakfast together, napped together, picked up Ellis together. It's been really great bonding. I'm so grateful that I'm able to do this, take care of Winnie while, while she's not in school. It's such an honor to be her mother and Ellis's mother. They're such good kids. And I was so determined to stay home with Winnie. She didn't get as much of this life as Ellis has gotten because of cancer. And I hate that it's taken away from her. And I was determined to give her some of this world and I'm doing it. I struggle and I need naps with her and, but I think she likes me napping with her. I think it makes her feel good. Um, that I struggle and I'm learning to just be okay with the struggles and just appreciate being here. It's okay that I can't do as much as I used to. We're all here, we're together, that's what's important. I'm gonna go tuck into bed and edit. I will see you guys soon, I hope you have a great day. I love you and appreciate you all truly so much. Goodbye.